thanks to the lessons learned from China, from the video conference that we had with experts from here, we have been able to manage this crisis in, in quite a, an efficient manner. So we want to thank China for this year of solidarity. This 2020 has been, for me, a remarkable, memorable year where we need to now start thinking in how well protected here we are in China as residents of Beijing. The Mexican people expressed solidarity and uh, we were supplying uh, materials from Mexican companies to the Chinese people in order to deal with the pandemic. Once the situation became better in China and started to deteriorate in Latin America, particularly in Mexico, we have been depending highly on the daily supply of equipment, materials, personal protection equipment coming from China to Mexico. Now, now we are working on the summit between ASEAN leaders and China leaders. So we are looking forward as well that if we are going to have a better future, if we are going to share a better future among us in this region, then one of the cooperation is the cooperation between ASEAN and China. So after COVID, pasca COVID, we are going to experience a new norms. What will be the implication of the new norms? I have to say also that most of the equipment, such as ventilators that we are getting to Colombia, we are buying them from Chinese companies, and they have been really helpful. They have been uh, sending all this equipment on time, in good conditions. So I think China has been really helpful with us, and we hope that this collaboration will increase and we'll fight together against the COVID and we will overcome it's, it. It's a wonderful story when we look at the positive side of it, of how the whole world come together, identifying that this is a common enemy and this is a common fight that we have all to fight for the sake of humanity. But at the same time, we have to work on the many deficiencies that we have. And I think the future will depend very much on the new generations who already, the youth generation, who have faced, who have witnessed and who contributed, and they still they will be the engine for the future to overcome such a crisis in the future. President Abdel Fattah Sisi of Egypt decided to take a decision to send the Minister of Health here with a second wave of assistance to show solidarity. She came for one day and she met with the Chinese officials. And at the same time that she arrived here, the same moment that she arrived, the president of Egypt took a decision to put the Chinese flag on many of the monuments, the ancient monuments of Egypt as a show of solidarity.